On to business news. Investors in the capital markets will have almost four times the usual compensation in case of intermediary collapses. This is according to a new move by the CMA to reduce risk in the capital markets. Look, uh, of course, uh, this new move uh, is, of course, pushed by Luke Ombara, the policy director of the Capital Markets Authority, who, say, who says rather that despite an increase in volatility in the market uh, indices, the market still aims to retain investor participation. Let's have a look. The need to widen the scope of contributors to the Nairobi Security Exchange has emerged from the increased volatility of the three market indices. We have many stakeholders within that space and perhaps as a nation we need to see how we come together and of course see how do we approach our efforts NSC20, NSC25 and NASI slightly increased from 0.37%, 0.46% and 0.48% in the first quarter of 2023 to 0.40%, 0.47% and 0.64% in the second quarter of 2023 respectively. Due to this, the initial maximum payout has been proposed to quadruple from the initial 50,000 to 200,000. The CMA is also looking towards adjusting policies and modalities governing the markets to adjust to new trends such as carbon credit trade. Kenya has the highest volume of uh, carbon credits in Africa, estimated at around 24%. And uh, when we had the, the COP27, in Egypt in November last year, His Excellency the President had made it very clear that the carbon markets is the next significant export for Kenya. Hibak Said for TV 47.